Hi, Dr. Kalami. So welcome to my Master Chef series, and this is not about cooking, it's about eye surgery. Today I'm going to address for you the most common question I get from my colleagues from all over the world, which is what lens technology to use in cataract surgery. There's so much, uh, so many options out there, but I feel it's still not understood, not only the technology, but also how to apply it. So I'm going to share my concepts for you as a fashion designer and as someone who loves to explain concepts. I'm going to use the concept of cooking as a master chef to show you how you can take every vision uh, to a unique scenario that the patient wanted and irrespective of technology but using it to your full advantage. So many of you first of all please um, try and avoid advertising lens technologies because um, pun intended a number of you have fallen into the soup uh, because of that problem because think of it this way you keep advertising this is a new lens technology now when the patient sees perfect they give credit to the technology and when they do not see well they give discredit to you that's not fair to you but it's because of the wrong way in which you are propelling technology and the very concept of vision the lens technology is, is absolutely important but it is not as important as the recipe of vision that you custom design for each patient I as you know have a track record of working on patients that many of you say cannot be done previous real keratotomy patients with irregular astigmatisms up to nine diopters, uh, keratoconus patients with high irregular astigmatisms, corneal scars, patients with multiple LASIK problems. I have done cataract techniques in all these cases with majority of the patients at 2020 without glasses. Hence my desire to share with you that you can do it. Stop telling these patients that it cannot be done and that there is no lens technology for them. There is, it's just how we think about it. So my whole concept is number one, Look at all the lens technologies as ingredients in your kitchen, if I may, which is your surgical suite. Every, every ingredient, every lens technology was made to work. The companies did not make something shabby for you. The lens technology is supposed to work, but in the right recipe. You cannot take a certain ingredient just because it was FDA approved, let's say, yesterday, and you're using it in every dish. You cannot put that ingredient that was approved for coffee to make coffee exotic. You can't put that in curry and go, it still should go exotic. No, it'll, it'll be absolutely horrible. So the same concept, do not blame the lens technology. It's the wrong optics that you chose. Majority of the patients that you all sent to me who've had bad outcomes of premium cataract surgery, it's not that you did a bad surgery, but because the recipe wasn't right. So then I go ahead and I correct the optics of the eye. I may work on the cornea, may work on the lens, to optimize the optics of that camera, the eye, and make the brain see, irrespective of what you did. So it's very simple. So every ingredient works. Let's not blame the lens technology, but let's make it work in our favor. So ingredients or lens technologies and everything else we use for premium surgery, one is the kind that are made to be used as they are, straight from the company, off the shelf, which is fine. And then there are some that we've even custom designed over time, like in our case, over 28 years, of having done some of the most complex cases in the world and having seen the level of success, these technologies also are very useful, in fact, very useful, but they're called off label. They're used in the patient's best interest. So you have a whole drawer full of technology ingredients, your lenses, your sealants like uh, ratio sealant or pupil dilating aspects like omidria, you have iris manipulating uh, systems, you have uh, viscoelastics of different kinds, your instruments that you use for surgery, Everything has to be premium for the surgery to be premium, including your mindset and then your recipe. So having talked about ingredients or lens implants, don't get too hyped up about is this lens, uh, uh, you know, all these technologies that we have, the monofocals, the torics, the trifocal, the trifocal toric, the multifocal, the uh, pseudo accommodative, the piggybacks, the fake implants. We have unlimited options today. In fact, I have used over 25 lens technologies over the last 28 years. Having experience with all these technologies, I can tell you with full confidence, they all work. It's just that you have to make sure the optics and that eye and that brain was suited for that optics. That's the secret that I'm sharing with you today. So ingredients being one thing. Another important thing is your technology, which you use in your kitchen, in your case, your surgical center, a suite that we have, where you do your surgery. It could be FACO, it could be laser-based, it could be different technologies that we have today to do cataract surgery. You may have your complete cooking range for that. In addition to that, you must be a master on how to plan the temperature, how long to keep that temperature. Do you need the oven for that case? 
Do you need uh, the microwave for that case? So you have so many options and then you have a combination of these things that you can do as you plan your recipe. The ingredient, the lens, the technology of doing the surgery, the technology of uniqueness of that case, whether you need viscoelastics to protect the Fuchs case, uh, pupil dilators for patients with floppy iris, you need a sealant for patients with 30 incision RK. Everywhere you have so many options to make it completely premium and everything decides and depends on your vision. Now, if you look at it this way, the concept that I teach, which is different kinds of cooking, I call it. In my case, I call it K-L-E-A-R, the clear system that I've been teaching for two decades, which is Kerato Lenticulo Extended Armamentarium Refractive Techniques. 40 different techniques to make people see without glasses. So there is no such thing to me as not a candidate. Stop being a cookie cutter LASIK and smile and cataract surgeon. Please design vision. Nobody should go home with no options. As long as there is safety involved, you can design the surgery. There are many brilliant colleagues of mine in this time of quarantine where they are teaching online these various techniques. Take advantage of them. Learn the surgeries. Once you've learned how to saute, fry, bake, uh, grill, once you've learned all these techniques, my clear system, now I will show you how to blend them as a master chef and make recipes on recipes of success. So numerous patients that you sent to me or that I keep hearing and reading about all the time, doctors talking about real care dot patients are difficult, RK cases are bad, scar patients, high regular stigmatism, we cannot do. You can do them. I've been doing them for 28 years. In fact, I have gone so far as to let my patients be online on social media, sharing their experience of vision over the years. So it's proof to you that it can be done. And I'm confident you can do it. It's just the mindset. I want your mindset to be premium. That's what's missing. So technology, we talked about ingredients. We talked about how to put it together as recipes. Now look at it this way too. If you keep advertising about technology and lenses, the patient will give credit to that. And now you are not different anymore. What is important is you are the artist. You are the chef. You are the one who's going above and beyond for each patient. I want you to because the outcome is mind blowing. It's beyond what we can expect as a payment for our services. So barring that, the important thing I want to talk about today is limited to the factor that your mindset has to be where I want you to take each patient to their unique recipe. Start the surgery. In this case, start your cooking, understanding that you first have visualized the outcome, which in this case, uh, I'm doing chicken parmesan today. I've already decided how the dish should look, smell, feel, taste, and how it should blow the patient away beyond their expectations. That's your goal. Do not be a cookie cutter, please, serving burgers to everybody. How many cataracts I did, how many LASIK I did. Please be custom designers. The outcome and the results and the payback in every level that you get from the patient is mind blowing. Please be fully worthy of it. So do that, please. Today's information, I just gave you a demo without cooking is more about how to handle scenarios and think through for each patient and please go ahead and digest this information if you may and I'll be ready for you on Monday morning at 9.30 a.m. EST Eastern Standard Time on Facebook Live and Zoom for any questions you have but please digest the information. I do not like questions about what lens but I want you to ask me mind-blowing questions about Dr. Lani. Can you do this? Can you do that? And how? And how come these patients are so happy? Because you made them a team player in your vision. So that's all for now. I'll see you guys on Monday then and uh, take care. Good night.